Growing up, I always had a strong interest and love for the ocean. Anytime we'd have a family vacation to the sea, I wanted to be in it. I studied corals in Bermuda. I did a marine vertebrate course through my university in the east coast of Canada. Somehow, I found my way to California where I was able to volunteer for a research group to help them sample and tag sharks. At the time, I didn't know much about sharks, so I read up about them while I was involved in the research experience and I became super interested and realized then and there, this is a group of species I wanted to study. The Shark Research and Conservation Program, or SRC, at the University of Miami that I found and now direct, the whole concept started almost 15 years ago. Basically, I was a graduate student in a university here in South Florida, and when I was there, a local high school group emailed our listserv and said, We've just gotten a GIS laboratory and we don't have any data to actually map and teach our kids with. Would any of the faculty or students at the university be willing to share their data with the students so that they could map it and get hands-on experience working with real data in the new computer lab? GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. Essentially, it's a computer software that allows you to map different layers of data over one another so you can make inferences or interpretations of multiple levels of data all at once that have spatial meaning. I responded and I went to the school to meet with the students. At the time I was doing my master's work studying predator-prey interactions between white sharks and cape fur seals in South Africa. I had spatial data on where shark predations on seals were occurring that would work very well to be mapped in GIS. So what I did is provide the data to the students, explain to them what it meant, explain to them how I was using it, and worked alongside them to analyze the data in their GIS labs and create these really cool maps. Being really impressed with the work these students produced, I also became really inspired by the interactions I have with these students. And so we came up with a plan to try to bring those high school students to South Africa with me to actually see white sharks hunting seals and actually collect real data hands-on, not just get the finished product. So in 2004, I was able to secure a grant where we brought a high school class with me to South Africa for several weeks to work with me on my graduate research to collect data that we then brought back to Florida and actually analyzed in the classroom in this high school's computer lab that eventually led to publications. And through various educational networks, local schools heard about it. And I was getting approached by a lot of different teachers from local school groups to also have the opportunity for their students to join me and go to South Africa on field trips to collect data. Knowing how expensive and logistically difficult that was, I knew that wasn't going to be a reality. At that time, I was just starting my PhD here at the University of Miami Rosensteel School and thought, I really like the outreach aspect and the participatory aspect involving the students in real science. Maybe I could develop something that was linked to my PhD research here locally that could integrate that citizen science component. I was passionate about outreach, but in order for me to be able to devote time to outreach while also doing a PhD, I had to make sure that the data that was being collected during my outreach had a perfect marriage with the data that was being collected for my dissertation when I was doing any outreach or any citizen scientist involvement with school children, they had to be collecting data that supported my PhD research to make it worthwhile. It was from that experience that I saw the value and need to involve the public, particularly school children, in real research to inspire them in science, technology, engineering, and math, and saw sharks as the hook as a way to get these groups engaged. And out of that was born what would eventually become the Shark Research and Conservation Program, or SRC, at the University of Miami. That has grown over the years and now supports different research programs that involve multiple faculty doing different research projects, but that all involve students at the graduate level, undergraduate level, as well as school children from local schools and abroad, as well as the involvement now of public older citizen scientists that can come out and participate in the research. The key to all of this is that it's not just about the participation in the field research aspect, but it's about the generation of real scientific data that gets published that ultimately helps inform our knowledge about these animals and will hopefully help inform decisions of policymakers that will go into help conserving the needed shark populations.